हाय वेलकम एवरीवन सो आज एक बहुत ही अमेजिंग डे होने वाला है एक अलग डे होने वाला है अलग ही वीडियो है बिकॉज हम लोगों ने कोई जुडिशरी एस्परेंट या जुडिशरी पे कोई खास एकदम डेडिकेटेड वीडियो अलग सा नहीं बनाया है बट टूडे वी हैव विद अस आज हमारे साथ है ऋषभ सर ऋषभ दीक्षित सर ने अभी एम पी जुडिशरी एग्जाम को क्लियर करा है दिस इज ओनली जो अभी रिजल्ट आया है जस्ट कुछ दिनों पहले एंड सर एज गॉड दी ओल्ड इंडिया रैंक ऑफ नाइनटी सिक्स दैट्स एन अमेजिंग रैंक और आज हम लोग कुछ सीखेंगे कि सर कैसे सर ने कैसे एग्जाम को निकाला है क्रैक करा है and the most amazing part is that sir was from the tier 1 law firm and he has left that job and joined the judiciary judicial services mp judicial services today we will get to know everything aur pura clat ke time se kuch cheez jaane ki koshish karenge ki foundation kaise bana kaise cheezon ki starting hui so welcome sir welcome welcome to you sir हेलो थैंक यू थैंक्स अ लॉट थैंक्स अ लॉट अविनाश सो सर सबसे पहले हम जानना चाहेंगे सर कि आप एनएलयू में थे एनएलयू जोधपुर में थे सर आपने क्लैट का वो फेस कैसा था कैसे क्लैट को एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन करा था आपने या सर बेसिकली आई टू बिगिन विद आई वांटेड टू बी अ फाइटर पायलट इन नेशनल डिफेंस एकेडमी करेक्ट एंड अनफॉर्चूनेटली थिंग्स डिडंट वर्क फॉर मी बिकॉज़ ऑफ सम मेडिकल रीजंस सो आई जस्ट अपीयर्ड फॉर क्लैट लाइक आई मीन जस्ट लाइक इट्स लाइक अ रैंडम एज अ एज अ अल्टरनेटिव करियर ऑप्शन एंड फॉर्चूनेटली आई I mean, in my in my first attempt, which I gave without any preparation, so I I I secured some thousand or something rand. Okay. So I thought that if I put in like proper dedication and efforts into this exam, I might be able to secure a good rank. So actually, my dad is in Air Force, so he got posted to Bangalore. We got shifted there, and I started preparing on my own. Um, so simultaneously, I was playing basketball. I was representing some clubs in Bangalore. and was preparing by my own for uh, clat as well so the thoda pada basic i uh, at that time exam used to be of a different category of a different level where they would check us on basic english basic uh, logical reasoning critical reasoning legal reasoning like this the currently there is a lot of critical reasoning and all those components were not highly involved in the exams so exam was accessible to all matlab क्राकेबल एग्जाम था तो यार आई जस्ट रोट एज मेनी मॉक्स एज आई कूड अप्रॉक्स आई रिमेम्बर हंड्रेड मॉक्स आई रोट फॉर माई प्रिपरेशन एंड फॉर्चुनेटली यार वो क्लिक कर गया था तो ये तो बहुत ही ब्रिलियंट था कि आपने सेकेंड अटेम्प्ट ने खैर निकाला वो भी एनएलयू जोधपुर जो कि वन ऑफ द टॉप कॉलेज है एनएलयू है फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट तो एक्चुअली आई आई कूडेंट प्रिपेयर बिकॉज करेक्ट आई फिल्ड माई फॉर्म बिकॉज आई आई मीन आई डेंट है ऑप्शन बट देन एक महीना ऐसे पढ़ के दे दिया था बिकॉज और कुछ था नहीं बट देन मैंने रियलाइज की लाइक देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ पोटेंशियल विच लाइज इन दिस सेक्टर बिकॉज आई विदाउट प्रिपेयरिंग आई कुड मैनेज टू गेट थाउजेंड रैक तब फिर प्रॉपर डेडिकेशन डेडिकेटेडली पुट किया और फिर फॉर्चुनेटली बाई ग्रेस ऑफ गॉड आई मैनेज टू सिक्योर दिस ईयर वॉज दैट आप किस ईयर में सर उसको निकाला था यार आई क्लियर इन ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन आई गेस यस ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन यू पास फ्रॉम द कॉलेज इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन Yes. 2019. Then I worked for an year and so at Sirala Machan Mangal Das. Correct, sir. And then I uh, got into the judicial services preparation. So, sir, ये transition कैसा रहा मतलब आपका कि आप पहले sir college life में आप as a law firm के लिए work कर रहे थे लगातार. तो sir पहली बात तो sir law firm में आप गए कैसे? आपने क्या क्या चीजों को fulfill करा? क्या क्या criteria थे? Yeah. Uh, that you enter the top tier one like law firm. So I'll I'll deal these two questions separately. Firstly, I will answer your question: How to get into a law firm? So you will be glad to know that in the beginning of my fourth year, I managed to got I managed to get three PPOs, namely Sirala Machan, Luthra, and Majmudar and Partners. Wow! So now I will like through uh, through the medium of your channel, I would like to point out that what exactly was my strategy to get into these to basically to secure an internship. and then get a call back and then get a ppo from these firms so yeah in my first year when i entered the college i was clear ki yaar pehle job nikalni hai because i could i i knew that my financial condition is not that super that immediately i can get on to the preparation and prepare for years and clear exam so i was clear in my mind from the beginning ki karenge to judicial services hi lekin thoda financial cushion bana ke hmm. a lot of people who are who might be listening to this podcast could relate 
because their financial condition is not that supremely good and they would want certain financial question correct so that is a, that is the reason why i secured placement first i worked for an year over there and then due to certain uh, personal reasons i had to quit job earlier than what i decided but then i would say god was like he was favorable to me so i managed to crack it as well now addressing to the question which you asked see it is very simple you can get into a law firm by two means number one if there is someone who is already sitting there and can arrange internship for you but this privilege is not available to everyone correct this is from my own personal experience and second way is to get an internship in order to get a good job you need to get a good internship to ya to wo aapko jack se milegi ya fir wo aapko milegi in the matlab ya fir aapko milegi achhi internship karne se now the second question is how do you get good internship now good internship ke liye again you need to understand ki all these law firms which come to these colleges they shortlist people based on their rank jo yes. all the top rankers in the college are shortlisted by these tier one firm and then interview and other things to ab maine dimag lagaya ki how will i get the rank the answer is simple you secure good marks so i made this loop i understood in the very first year of my college that if if i secure good marks in my exam i will get a good rank if i get a good rank i will be shortlisted for the internship and if i get internship then i'll get a good job okay. so that's how i perceived the entire chain and put in my efforts but sir uh, judicial exam uh, was always in the back of your mind ki aapko judicial hi enter karna hai as matlab yes, aisa yes not everyone i think uh, whoever is listening is in a position to directly enter into the judicial services because a lot of uncertainties are associated to this exam Correct. Correct. i was fortunate enough to clear in first go but it usually it usually takes 2 to 3 uh, two to three years for like almost everyone to clear this exam Correct. so you need to have that much of financial cushion so that you can prolong your preparation for such duration so just to ensure that i had to uh, prepare i had to just work at the corporate law firm and secure that financial cushion so sir uh, i would i would like to know ki sir harshit sir aapke mentor the kya aap bahut share karte hain unki stories Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. So, uh, Mr. Harshad, I would say he is currently. I call him Mr. Superman because he he does everything. <laughs> he you name big. anything, and Correct. Mr. Harshad Sharma is there. So, uh, so right from the beginning of my college, we have been very good friends. And after that, uh, so from from our third years, we really got along pretty well. And since then, we have been best friend to each other, and we have. push each other to push our own personal limits so that we can excel in our spheres so that's how i am connected to him yeah. and in the phase of my preparation he has actually helped me a lot like he already cleared this exam so he guided me through and he was always there for all sort of guidance so that's how i am linked to him yeah correct sir so in which month you started preparing in which month and which year you started preparing for the judicial exams so i quit my corporate job in 2020 august then September till September fifteen, I did the ground research for the exam because yeah. you just can't directly jump into the competitive sphere. You need to know what territory you are fighting into. So I did my ground research for fifteen twenty days to understand what this exam is, what this exam is capable of, what all like, options I have in this exam, and all those basic research I did for fifteen twenty days. Then you can say from fifteenth September twenty twenty, mm-hmm. I. started my preparation dedicatedly like i resolved to myself that now i am commencing my preparation so that's when i started my preparation for judicial services sir ek bahut bada confusion rehta hai students ko ki jaise judicial exams bahut uncertain hai i mean kabhi service aa rahi hai kabhi nahi aa rahi hai and also which states to target this is north indian hai so which states to target so sir ye kya factor rehta hai kaise decide karna hota hai which state to target i think this is a first, i mean i have spoken to almost 150 aspirants by now and i have told this to each and every one personally now i would take an opportunity to convey this message through your holy platform see whenever a person is uh, whenever a person decides to appear for judicial services exam he needs to know 
that there are three categories of exam which are there in judicial services for a hindi speaking person for our like with respect to hindi speaking states correct the first exam is up and bihar this is category 1 because this category involves a lot of law subjects plus a lot of efforts is required for gs and gk so this is category 1 you prepare for one you hmm. are like inadvertently you prepare for other exam as well so this is category 1 then coming to category 2 category 2 is delhi haryana and himachal pradesh hmm. these three are are almost on the similar pattern because mains mein you are provided with bare act in these exams so ye ek alag category ho gaya exam ka category 3 is rajasthan and mp which is purely a bare act based exam jiske mains mein sirf bare act hi puchi jati hai so it is highly important to know ki bhai ye teen categories hain exam ki और हमको किसी एक कैटेगरी में हाथ डालना है इफ यू वांट टू क्लियर एग्जाम इन द मिनिमम ड्यूरेशन बिकॉज आप सब अगर आप तीनों कैटेगरी में से एक एक एग्जाम निकाल लोगे तो यार आप किसी एक पे फोकस ही नहीं कर पाओगे बिकॉज तीनों एग्जाम्स की रिक्वायरमेंट डिफरेंट है सो इट इज अट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टू चूज वन ऑफ लाइक टू चूज वन ऑफ दीज थ्री कैटेगरीज एंड देन पुट यूर एफर्ट्स इन द एग्जाम दैट इज द ओनली रीजन वाई आई कुड क्लियर दिस एग्जाम one go absolutely within a span of 8 months that is the only reason because i knew which exams i wanted to target that that is the mantra of commencing the preparation correct sir ye bahut bada confusion tha sir ki matlab kaise state ko aapne se divide kar diya first part yes but iska fayda ye hai ki i mean people might say that hame fomo ho raha hai ki hum ye chhod kaise de wo kar de but the point is ki tum chote chote efforts har ek state ke liye maroge na that won't suffice because each state requires independent efforts for itself for example aap prelims to nikal loge har state ka but mains ki requirement absolutely different hai to mains mein tak jaoge plus since i have categorized these exam to ek ko taiyar karne se dusra apne aap taiyar ho raha hai so at least you will have a fall back option as well so that's how my categorization helps a person so next question is ki sir aapne preparation koi coaching se kari thi or self study aap kar rahe the for those three hmm. months Yeah, so I had a very like I had a very less time because September fifteen I started my preparation, mm-hmm. and उस समय MP was scheduled in December, so दो तीन महीने में तो humanly possible नहीं था. So what I did was basically see the the funda is simple. Instead of knowing what you should read, you should know what you should not read. The theory of exclusion, the theory of exclusion I applied, and for that I needed guidance from some institution which can tell me. what exactly i am supposed to study so ambition say ambition uh, law institute is there so wahan se maine uh, notes procure kar liye the i procured their notes i attended few classes but then i realized ki my speed is far speedier than as compared to other students okay. so plus by then it was clear ki mp ka prelims march mein hoga so i just had four to five months to complete my entire syllabus to prepare for prelims so i took their notes and i ratified them like i whatever understanding i could make by myself i studied them like anything i revised them multiple times and i finished them within a span of 4 months so that i can appear for upcoming prelims so that that's how i i did my preparation for prelims okay so or some mains ke liye bahut less time rehta hai gap rehta hai to uske liye exactly yaar mains ke liye i just like usually mp ka agar pre nikalta hai Mm-hmm. तो रिजल्ट के विद इन फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी डेज में वो मेंस करा लेते हैं mm-hmm. और yeah. मेरी तो बिल्कुल तैयारी नहीं थी बट फॉर्चुनेटली और अनफॉर्चुनेटली यू कैन से ड्यूरिंग दैट कोरोना टाइम द एग्जाम गॉट पोस्टपोन बाय टू मंथ्स सो आई हैड अ स्पैन ऑफ अप्रोक्स हंड्रेड डेज टू प्रिपेयर फॉर माय मेंस एग्जामिनेशन सो आई पुट इन माई ऑल दर्स इन टू इट आई फॉगॉट एवरी आई फॉगॉट एनीथिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम द मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन नो कमिंग टू एम पी स्पेसिफिकली वन शुड नो दैट they repetitively ask previous year question in their mains examination hmm. so if you see my exam in civil exam they approximately repeated the question of they approximately repeated question of weightage approx 35 marks so 35 marks ke questions previous 10 year se aaye the hmm. so that is where my strategy worked because i had already mugged up all the previous year questions of previous 10 years question of mp so that that was one to cover law with respect to judgment writing 
we have to practice from robin jeet singh book it is an amazing book for judgment writing okay, if sir. that one does properly it's it will suffice and lastly for translation ya to aap coaching ke notes se aap kariye ya fir there is one book called manmohan joshi on translation this book would suffice for your paper too so that's how i prepared for my mains i had approximately 100 days and i made sure that i put in as many hours as i can so that's it did you have any specific schedule jiske hisab se aap chalte the ki fixed schedule tha aur something random hi aap chal rahe the kya process tha but yeah i had simple maths in my mind that generally people take two years to clear this exam like an average student who is dedicatedly regularly studying he takes eight like seven to eight hours every day to clear this exam i did simple maths i wanted to clear it in one year in my first attempt so i divided by 2 on the other side and i multiplied the number of hours by 2 on the other side Correct. so resultant was equal like the resultant was same i had to study 15 to 16 hours every day so that i can come at par with students who have been working for at least 2 to 3 years so yeah. i i made sure i study 15 to 16 hours every day and i didn't have any specific target ki mujhe ye padhna hai but i had this thing in my mind ki mujhe 15 16 ghante padhna hai अब जो जो होगा वो मैं करता जाऊंगा बट आई विल स्टडी इतना टाइम सो दैट्स हाउ आई आई डिड माय प्रिपरेशन एंड मैनेज टू कवर एज मच सिलेबस एज आई कोड विद इन दो फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन आवर्स पर डे करेक्ट सर सही है शायद इलाउन मस का कोड भी था कि वन ईयर को थ्री मंथ्स में कैसे कवर करे सही हर जगह एज अलैड एग्जाम में भी वर्क करेगा एनी एग्जाम दैट्स ट्रू यार सो ऑल दोज यूर आई मीन ऑल दोज क्लैट एक्सपीरियंस कैन ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम दिस दैट दैट even if you did not take coaching for 2 years in 11 12 even if you were a dropper or you are preparing in the last year the fundas mota mota remains same it is basically ki jitna ghanta aap pad rahe ho na hmm. the more number of hours you put in the closer it takes you to the victory this is a mantra so chahe clat ho chahe judiciary ho chahe koi bhi exam ho agar rasta sahi hai na to yaar ye cheez bahut proportionately kaam karti hai which has actually worked for me within 8 months i was able to uh, walk this path which people usually take 2 to 2 to 3 years to complete this journey so that's how i see this so sir demotivating phase aata tha demotivation hota tha in those 8 months so wo burnout phase aisa kuch aapke sath would like to bilkul dekh yaar that is that that is bound to happen because we are human beings social animals so Correct. social state of mind is bound to change so i have two solutions for each and everyone who is listening to this i had these two solution for myself as well number one you should have just one friend one friend or one person with whom you should talk on regular basis when i say regular basis means every day with whom you can share everything so that he knows your state of mind and he motivates you for me it was harshit okay because i because i used to speak every day to him and he would guide like he would motivate me on the regular basis so instead of having multiple friends it's good to have just one friend and speak to him on a regular basis and the second is i chose an ideal i chose an idol for example i used to follow kobe bryant a lot hmm. so at the beginning of my preparation i pasted his photo in front of my table that whenever i will feel demotivated i'll look at him i'll look his i look at his quotes and i'll motivate myself so jab bhi aisa demotivation wali feeling aati thi na so ya to i used to watch kobe bryant's video on youtube it will take me 10 minutes to recharge because i considered himself as the boss like he is someone who has killed it on the international level so aise aap ek idol chun lo apna for harshit it was cristiano ronaldo for me it is kobe mm-hmm. bryant for someone it could be michael jordan or elon musk like you can choose your own personality and you tend to emulate their personality by yourself so mai koshish karta tha ki to develop that mama mentality which kobe bryant had so thinking about him in those versatile time had helped me a lot to regain my mental strength and mental peace and then obviously one friend you have at the night to speak to these two things will definitely cater to your those demotivation woes and all there was something jo excite karta tha aapko preparation ke liye like ki judicial services mein kuch ho wo aapko excite karta tha ya dekh ek to ye ki सो so, पहले से सोच लिया था कि न्यायाधीश बनना है तो आई आई एम वेरी आई एम वेरी मैकेनिकल कि अगर 
सोच लिया है तो फिर करना है या तो शुरू ही नहीं करना है शुरू करना है तो पूरा करना है तो वो न्यायाधीश का जो वो था ना वो एक न्यायाधीश बनने का एक कीड़ा इन द सिंपलेस्ट टर्म इन द वेरी इजीएस्ट टर्म्स इट कीड़ा ऑफ बिकमिंग अ न्यायाधीश दैट ऑलवेज यूज टू कीप मी ऑन माय टोज कि यार नहीं यार मतलब ये है एंड देन सेकंडली आई ऑलवेज रिकॉल दैट व्हाई इट ऑल स्टार्टेड मतलब व्हाई आई स्टार्टेड इट एट ऑल मतलब व्हाई आई मेड दोस सैक्रिफाइसेस आई लेफ्ट लाइक अ लाख पेइंग लैक्स पेइंग जॉब टू मी लाइक आई वाज वर्किंग एट दिस टीवन फॉर माय दे वर पेइंग मी इन लैक्स सो i always knew that i have done i have made those sacrifices so why it all started it all started to become a judge a judicial okay. magistrate Correct. so that's what kept me going all the time so i saw your video on instagram jahan pe sab gaon ja rahe hain apne to wahan pe bhi bahut log aa gaye sath mein so wo incident kaisa tha matlab kaisa feel hua aapko very amazing yaar i mean these are the moments i think you you live for i would say matlab i mean i i was fully into tears because ye sab na humne sirf tv pe dekha tha aur youtube pe dekha tha maine कभी खुद तो सोचा ही नहीं था कि ये मोमेंट मुझे जीनो को मिलेगा सो आई वुड आई कुड रिकॉल द मोमेंट माई लाइक आई वेंट विद माई एल्डर ब्रदर एंड पेरेंट्स द मोमेंट आर कार एंटर्ड इन टू द विलेज क्राउड ऑफ अप्रॉक्स हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी पीपल वेटिंग देयर टू वेलकम मी एंड माई पेरेंट्स एंड लाइक दे हैड अरेज डी जे एज वेल एंड ऑल दो प्लेइंग सॉन्ग्स ऑन सच सच अ हाई वॉल्यूम एंड द मोमेंट आई कीम आउट ऑफ द कार ऑल दो मालाज एंड ऑल दे started putting on like around my neck and my parents neck then all the ladies of the village they were doing my aarti so that was a surreal moment yaar i i mean i felt like i have lived my entire life in that one single moment so it was that amazing a feeling yaar this 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 tag this i mean this job it is not just a job i mean being a judge is not just a job it's like a responsibility it's like it's like a honor i think so er, for earning that honor you need to give it your all like Unless you give it your all, वो नहीं होता है और जब एक बार आप सब दे देते हो ना तो रिटर्न बहुत तगड़े आते हैं यार मतलब आई आई वुड से माई लाइफ हैपसाइड डाउन सो एनी वन हुज लिस्निंग इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर जुडिशियल सर्विस जस्ट गिव इट यूर ऑल गिव इट यूर ऑल एंड ऑल द सेक्रीफाइस वुड बी वर्थ इट ऐसा कोई रिलेटिव वाला मोमेंट तो नहीं हुआ था कोई रिश्तेदार जो नहीं बात करते थे वो दोबारा आ गया अरे सब यार ऑल बड़ेड इन यू ट्यूब लाइक Like has come true to me. I mean, all those uh, relatives, all those people who weren't in contact okay. with us. College friends are Risha, boy. You have to do it. Selection, how is it? College friends, sir. Come on, they are all doing good. So, it doesn't happen that way. But with respect to relatives, for sure. I mean, a lot of relatives who were not in like a regular touch, they all, I mean, took out their time and they called my father and they congratulated him. more than anything. More than I mean, anything else. I feel uh, the happiness, the amount of gratification which it gives your parents the right. happiness which you see on their faces something which makes this success worthwhile i mean there is nothing beyond that the smile on the face of your father your mother because of you is something which which i am ready to do in all of my seven janams which i ever get in my life sato janam mein us khushi ke liye yaar main khushi khushi sare sacrifice karke main wapas judge banne ko taiyar hu like i am ready to put in those efforts what about that time jab result just aaya hai parents aapko pata chal raha hai to reaction kya tha parents ka i want to know that sir what exciting lag raha hai shit yaar i mean this 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 was amazing this was amazing so uh, i got to know uh, that i mean no so i so at that time we knew ki result is about to come so i randomly checked the website and i saw ki result aa gaya hai hmm. i was all alone in the room maine result khola so obviously मेरे को फर्स्ट सेकेंड पेज पे तो आने की उम्मीद नहीं थी बिकॉज आई न्यू की माई पेपर वॉज एंड दैट गुड सो पहला दूसरा पेज बहुत जल्दी स्किम थ्रू किया एंड ऑब्वियसली माई नेम वॉज नॉट देयर देन आई स्किम टू दर्ड पेज उस पर भी नहीं आया फोर्थ पेज तो फोर्थ पेज तक एट्टी फाइव लोगों के नाम थे मुझे लगा यार आई वॉज लाइक गॉड प्लीज सेव मी प्लीज सेव मी हाई ऑन इमोशंस एड्रेनल रश रोंग के खड़े हो गए एंड ऑल हार्ट बीट everything was like pounding my heart was pounding so fast fir last page pe aaya aise nazar padi aur apna naam dur se hi chamak jata hai like so rishab dikshit i was like okay wow. i shouted my lungs off i mean i shouted my lungs off in the in the moment of that happiness and when i went outside and called my parents and i told them like i mean i just shouted them and i like called them the moment i told them i started crying i don't know why all those emotions came out listening that my father also started crying my mother also started crying we three of us hugged each other because we knew that finally we have tasted the victory 
so so that moment was beyond beyond explanation beyond beyond explanation so wo moment bahut zyada hi exciting ho jata hai bahut emotional ho jata hai fir us us moment ko live karne ke liye hi aur mehnat karne ka sir bahut zyada motivation aata rehta hai bilkul yaar jab bhi main mehnat karta tha na to i used to think ki jab selection hoga to ye hoga wo hoga and i said that was also one of the motivating factors ki lage raho yaar i think the biggest the biggest mantra which everyone should know is that on your off day when you are feeling highly demotivated aap us din jitne ghante nikal loge na that would decide your fate mera ye funda tha ki jis din bilkul mann nahi kar raha na nahi padhna ye wo us din jitne ghante main nikal lunga that is what gonna decide how i'm gonna perform on my off day or how how i'm gonna pull off this journey so this is again an important thing so i forgot so one question sir ki interview time aapka kya experience tha so interview phase mein jo interview hua tha जो लॉकी जो लॉ का बेसिकली पोर्शन है दीज पीपल हैव ऑलरेडी इवेल्युएटेड मी बिकॉज इन द मेंस एग्जामिनेशन सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स अपेयर एंड फाइनली दे सिलेक्ट फ्यू बंच ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स फॉर द इंटरव्यू सो आई न्यू की नॉलेज का तो टेस्ट हो चुका है सो माय एम वाज टू एग्जिबिट माय पर्सनैलिटी वॉट आई हैव एक्वायर्ड थ्रू बींग इन एन एल यू थ्रू बींग इन एन मिलिट्री स्कूल एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स आई वॉज क्लियर दैट आई नीड टू एग्जिबिट माई स्ट्रॉन्ग पर्सनैलिटी more than my knowledge so i went there with that out with that mindset so when i entered there like the judges were very very welcoming they like they they asked the first question which i which i was asked was what exactly is the name is the meaning of your name so they will start with such basic questions so i i i like i i had already planned an innovative answer to this question so you need to be innovative and thoda aise smart while answering this question because that's how you make your repo that's how you establish yourself correct sir. because straight questions may for example provision kya hai wo to koi bhi bata dega and but i think that's how you you build a repo with the judges so i gave a funny answer then they started all of them started laughing so that's how it build the repo fir aage all the questions i mean the course of interview was decided by that only so they they kept me asking questions from my cv from my daf i mean the form which i filled defense background how all these things will go so i think one should be well prepared with his non legal questions because that is what primarily determines what kind of person you are and with respect to law so they were already allowing us a bear act to refer so agar aapko basic law padhna aata hai to bear act dekh ke aap samjha hi doge correct but with respect to personality questions you have to be innovative so that was my entire understanding of the interview ki bhai लॉ नहीं भी आएगा ना लॉ लॉ के सारे क्वेश्चन आएंगे भी नहीं बिकॉज दो हाई कोर्ट जजेस दे नो फार मोर देन वॉट वी कैन नो सो लॉ के सारे क्वेश्चन आएंगे भी नहीं लेकिन जो नॉन लीगल क्वेश्चन है एवरी पर्सन इज सपोज टू नो दो क्वेश्चन अबाउट दम सेल्स सो आई फील ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट था तो दैट्स हाउ दैट वॉज माई स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर इंटरव्यू सर लास्ट पॉइंट आप कुछ बोलना चाहेंगे फॉर द एक्सपीरियंस गोइंग टू बी लॉ स्टूडेंट सो प्रिपेयर कर रहे हैं तो लॉ स्टूडेंट है for students who are preparing for clat i mean you should know that life at nlu is amazing you got to learn a lot jo aap sacrifice abhi karoge wo worth it hai because wahan pe if you happen to reach to nlu i mean i still miss my nlu life it is altogether a different scenario ample of opportunities you get you got to learn a lot from your peers so uske liye wo soch ke that should be a motivating factor aaj jaan lagani hi padegi warna कल सिर्फ रिग्रेट होता है दो ही चीजें विच वन शुड ऑलवेज रिमेंबर सेल्फ बिलीफ एंड सेल्फ रिस्ट्रेंट आई बिलीव आर द मोस्ट टू पोर्टेंट वेपन विच अ पर्सन हैज आई विल रिपीट सेल्फ बिलीफ एंड सेल्फ रिस्ट्रेंट यू शुड नो व्हाट नॉट टू डू सो फॉर ऑल द क्लैट एस्पेरेंट दिस इज माई बेसिक सजेशन एंड फॉर ऑल द लॉ स्टूडेंट हु इंटेंड टू क्लियर जुडिशियल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन इज सोनर यू स्टार्ट अर्लर यू रीच दैट इज द ओनली मंत्र आई वुड वॉन्ट टू गिव जितना yeah. जल्दी स्टार्ट करोगे उतना जल्दी पहुंचोगे और आपके लिए भी सेल्फ बिलीफ एंड सेल्फ रिस्ट्रेंट इज दी थैंक यू सो वेरी मच कि आप हमारे वीडियो में आए पॉडकास्ट पे आए एंड सर आप बहुत अच्छे अच्छे पॉइंट्स को आपने बताया बहुत सारे कन्फ्यूजन थे जो अच्छे सॉर्ट आउट नहीं हो पा रहे थे कोई भी वीडियो देख के वो बहुत सारी चीजें का सोल्यूशन निकला थैंक यू वेरी मच सर थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू थैंक लॉर्ड अविनाश फॉर गिविंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एटलीस्ट स्प्रेड माई व्यूज विद ऑल माई फेलो एक्सपीरियंस एज वेल एज my coming brothers to anelius thanks a lot of you